Throughout the United States, many jobs have been put on hold due to COVID-19, but there are still people working on the front lines. Here in San Luis Obispo, many of the town's residents are students, and many of them have kept working during the pandemic. Amanda Chu, a fourth-year business major, has been working at a grocery store as a clerk and gave insight to what it's like working during such a stressful time. I think at first I was kind of scared to, like, you know, because of everything going on, but people have been pretty good with, like, keeping distance, respecting our boundaries, and it's kind of nice to just, like, kind of be part of the community. With all the craziness going on within the students' workplaces, other obstacles that students may have to face is making sure that they don't bring the virus home with them. Rachel Bergen, a fourth year kinesiology major, has had multiple talks with her household to make sure they're okay with her working during such a worrisome time. Um, I was surprised, but they all took it pretty well. Um, I made sure, like before I told my boss I was ready to go back to work, that I asked them because I felt I didn't want them to feel uncomfortable. Most of the workplaces that these students work in have them interacting with the public, which can have its ups and its downs during such a stressful time. In general, they're appreciative. They're more appreciative towards frontline workers and grocery workers. Um, you know, they're always saying, oh, like, I appreciate you for being here or thank you for being here. So that's really nice. Um, I guess there are some negative things, just like in general, people are just really anxious and stressed to go out to the groceries which I understand. So sometimes they just really don't want you touching their items. Many students are still working on the front lines for a multitude of reasons, but let's be sure to give some thanks to the ones who are helping our lives be a little easier during such a difficult time. Jonathan Crespin for Mustang News.